And good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to the Glitz Pit and Thousand Year Door. I'm the voice of Dog. Let's do this. We've got a mystery to solve. Well, let's go somewhere we have no business being after we get this ladder hot dog. <clears throat> Free hot dog. Free shine. Da 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 
No. Meow. <laughs> I gotta take some yoga classes or something. Let's go to the other side. fighting. Oh, nasty. This is an actual fight. I can't believe they get they they gimp me like that.
This doesn't count as an attack. Ooh, that's close. This is her last warning. No, actually. <laughs> oh no. Chomp country. This might be a tremor situation. <clears throat> Hmm. 
There we go. Sir, you okay over there? Hate cake, never eat cake again. Well. Coopinator. quick. Super guard. Might as well use this special move.
Super guard. First place. Oh. Remove the great Gonzalez posters from the lobby. Oops. Vickis, thank you for that raid. We're playing some Thousand Year Door. We're doing the end of the Glitz Pit. Don't get near the ring when no one is around. It's a lot of years of door. What were you playing? Dark Cloud 2? Did you finish yet? I saw you were pretty close to the end. this or is this just oh you're in the post game now okay this is a post game oh yeah i think there's like a hundred a hundred floor dungeon or something wild like that right it's something really crazy
We don't have time for this. We got a championship fight. It's not 100, but it's big. Okay. Yeah, because I remember the first Dark Cloud having a, a post-game dungeon as well. Of sorts. All right, it's time for the big fight. No conditions. go this time because it's a special Wait, you know what Okay, they're totally late now. Hey, I'll take that. Oh, 
Okay. Let's flush ourselves. Come on. Yup, we are finishing the Glitz Pit. Glad you're fired up. I'm going to put you in the bench for the moment. <laughs> the cake I did not eat. Oh, but you are not sending us all those emails. HP for attack. <laughs> He's good at aerial stuff. Other than that, he's kind of meh. Five? Okay, not great. Take a sweet treat. Ah, that's oh no, I hit it. I somehow missed that. Wild. Want the Mario heart. Alright, six is good. Never get the stylish on that.
Did not super guard that, huh? I mean, you probably can, I just didn't do it right. It's like right before he does the little spin. <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, I brought... Uh, an attack for this part specifically because I do remember this. <laughs> that knocks you down. Uh, I will not kill you, so I'm going to take the safe route. However, what would be funny... I love that my capture card is dying. This makes it so much more tense. <laughs> oh, God. That was a hell of a hit. Yeah, so if you're just joining us, my capture card has been on the fritz a little bit. Oh, sweet. <laughs> no! Yeah, that fight's pretty good. I like the Glitz Pit because it's like a kind of a step up from the rest of the game so far in terms of battle difficulty. They do, they challenge you in a bunch of different ways, but they also give you the Yoshi, which makes you incredibly powerful at this point. Uh, I would like, I would like, shit, what do I want? I'll take FP. <laughs> Thank you for clipping that. <laughs> I am the champion. Give me that fake star. <laughs> Hand him the fight money. Hundred coins. Please do. Nice day. Okay, bye. I like the reflections. They gave Yoshi little Yoshi noises as his little... Yeah. Pants are vibrating. Did 
discover the true nature of the ghost. Oh my god, I love the- look at the, the plush carpet. It all moves when you run around on it. <laughs> I love the presence, it's really funny. Uh, I can sleep here, and I'm pretty sure that recovers my star points, too. So we're good on that. I think they made the hovering a little easier. bridge when the time comes. All my crimes .txt. Since I'm thinking aloud here, I might have to kill this guy soon. Pretty ballsy to just break open as the air duct. There we go. <laughs> Great gallop and golfits. You're staring at my secret paper too. Oh hey, I didn't even know, I did not know that was there. Oh, hang on. I saw another one. That's funny. All right, where'd he go? <laughs> he was wigging. <laughs> well,
<laughs> this game loves the word scumbag. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, here's the real fight. Take that. Never know when you'll need a fire flower. Sixty HP. Okay. Oh, there's a stylish there. I didn't know about that one. Nasty. Not gonna really help me that much, but all right. Tiny grubba. Oh, it's nasty. <laughs> I have illegal moves. Three defense. Oh, that's nasty. Mario. Mario. Where we're finishing up the the the, the thing. The arena. That's not going to do anything. I don't know why I did that. Bit of a confession. Never played this game. Oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> I might get it. Yeah, it's it's good. I like it. Um, It's kind of like... Oh, okay. Shit, there goes my debuff. Uh, he's going to hit me really hard next, so...
Yeah, no, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep at it. He'll be dead in two turns. Oh, perfect. I won. I just won. <laughs> <laughs> That's really unfortunate for him. The stage turned on him, and that's funny. <laughs> so, like, how does the crowd work? Um, the more the crowd, uh, every time you do an action prompt correct, you get star mm. points, and that fuels your star meter up in the top. And uh -huh. the, the star meter is like special attacks. Like uh, this one can just remove all enemies, just immobilize them for two to three turns. This one just does six damage to everybody un unaffiliated. Uh, this one can heal you, so that they're all very important. And the more people in the crowd, the better, the, the more you star power you get. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes the crowd will try to throw things at you, and you can, you have, in that case, you have to look at the crowd and see what they're going to throw, and if it's a good thing, don't attack them. And if it's a good, and if it's a rock, then attack them. <laughs> yeah, I, sh I should have gone around to this game. Uh, the uh, the Mario RPGs I played were Mario and Luigi. Yeah, you, know, you played Superstar you Saga. played the Mario and Luigi ones. Yeah, I always like the show. Paper Mario ones. Yeah, I never did play the uh, the one that where they both cross over. I heard Paper Jam was like the latent Phoenix Wright crossover of, of crossovers mm. it, in like, it didn't utilize either of its aesthetics too well. Right. As opposed to like a King of Fighters. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that's the first one that came to my head, but let's go. With... Mr. Champion. All right. What's, what's, what's the conspiracy here? You're Mush's sister. No, it's okay. This is a Mario game. Nobody dies. I'm just gonna spawn a new brother for you. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. That, that's that's okay, right? I can do that. We can just get you a new one, right? It'll be fine. Oh shit! I hit my desk. <laughs> 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 I did. I did that during the Rock Hawk fight when he was doing a power bomb on me. It was really funny. <laughs> uh, we should both uh, help you set up that new one of yours, and also my this... my my new one's. I don't know what's wrong with it. I gotta look at it. I, I just haven't had the patience to do it. Hmm. Hi, I lost like a few years of time. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, can we shut down the the life sucking machine now? I don't think that should be here. <laughs> it's better that you have it so we don't repeat this. Yeah, let's uh, let's say nothing so that my brother doesn't realize how many years of his life he missed. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's kind of like you were in a coma, but not exactly. <laughs> Have you seen Gunbuster? It's like that. <laughs> Hey, have you seen Gunbuster? Uh, I don't think so. Isn't that an old yeah, anime? That's an old one. It's by Hideaki Anno, and it's uh, a lot to do with time dilation. Oh. Neat. It's only six episodes, too, so it's... Uh... Oh, it's a quick one. Neat. Yeah. Like Footy Cootie. Footy Cootie, yeah. <laughs> That's a six episode series. That that rocked my world when I was like in high school. That came out like when I was in, ju well, in junior year and just the music and presentation were just insane to me. Yeah, I feel like that's like the perfect time to watch it as well. It is a really good time to watch that because that whole thing is about a grade school kid trying to grow up and like, where do you feel more infantilized and like than high school when you are trying to seek your independence and you can't because your mm -hmm. your hand is held at every turn. Then a really assertive pink hair lady comes to you. Yeah, as you know, this happens to everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, you meet an older woman who your dad gets weirdly into. Uh, and then you fight over then you fight him over her. <laughs> then you have a weird gunfight. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And and you have a robot inside you. Then you have a robot inside you or something. I don't know. I do get. I do know what happens in that show. It's just very abstractly told. It's just so bizarrely told that it's really hard to follow. It's um. It's very uh. It's it's fully on atmosphere and being a part of that setting and the uh, letting it wash over you. It's very vibes based storytelling. Mm. But there is a cogent throughput, through line through it. I mean, yeah, it's like uh, that. It's the uh, loss of innocence, all that jazz, you know. Yeah, it, the themes are there. Yeah, whom's amongst us hasn't fought our dad over an older woman? I would like you to go where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. Uh. Okay. You're the main computer. It's the exact sort of story you tell when you're way over doing Kayakano. What's that? What's that a Hideaki Anno join? What's that? I don't uh, know Kayakano? What that is. Yeah. Uh, so after Hideaki Anno finished um, Evangelion, well, quote unquote, finished Evangelion, he went on to do a uh, adaptation of a uh, romantic comedy. Oh, okay, that's funny. But uh, being Hideaki Anno, it got very introspective. Shocking. It's worth to watch. Yeah. Okay, we want it to go upstairs. Took a turn like halfway through. Yeah, you know, Hideaki Anno has went through it. He, I guess he's happy now. He's just making adaptations of his favorite tokusatsu shows. That's funny. I mean, this. You know, like, you ever look at somebody's art and it's like, oh, that guy wants to kill himself. Or wanted to kill himself. And that was Hidaki, you know, for me. And uh, it's good that he worked through that, because... Mm -hmm. uh, I still haven't seen the Rebuild movies, but apparently... Uh, They're pretty ends. good. They're, I, I didn't see all of them. I saw the first two. Mm -hmm. um, but they were pretty good. Yeah, I hear three and four are very good, and four apparently ends pretty happily, which That's I would not expect That's from wild. Eva. Hey, where do you keep your uniforms?
There we go. It's newer line of work. Uh, I like Shin Godzilla the most. Mm -hmm. uh, Shin Kamen Rider and Shin Ultraman are, are all right. I feel like you need to have watched like an Ultraman or a Kamen Rider to really get much out of it. Right. You're supposed to wear this thing and also drop a foot or so. I don't know how you're going to do that, but you'll figure it out. <laughs> Good, we make the sound when we walk around. Nope. I like that she went to, <laughs> and she was nice and hung up her own clothes. Yeah, she did. Is this the main room? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, hello, boss. I have a question for you. Don't kill me. It's just me, I'm a normal henchman, a goon. Here I am, regular goon. Just a good old gooner. Something's wrong with your voice. Perhaps I have a throat lozenge. No, well, never mind. That's like the nicest thing he says the entire game. It's like, oh, do, I, <laughs> do, I have a, do I have a cough drop? No, I'm sorry. Why are we keeping her here? None of your business. We really have no leverage to get this information, so I don't know why Tech wanted us to do this in the first place. <laughs> For a computer, he's kind of dumb. Listen, all he knows is if you ask nicely, people will respond. That's what a computer does, right? Roger or whatever. <laughs> Good job. Okay, time to get our height back. Why I really like us to prepare for Mario is that uh, Peach is like a member of your party. In the sense that, like, she's always doing something on the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or did you mean Super Paper Mario? Yeah, Super Paper Mario. Yeah, she's a, she's a playable character in that game. And she's really good because she can float. <laughs> Tech, you suck. <laughs> Do you know the subplot with this with this computer? I don't actually. It's <laughs> so the computer looks at as soon as they kidnap Peach and and then there's like an electrical impulse, mm. and then he's like, "Okay, there is something wrong with my circuit." So he he opens the door to from Peach's yeah computer wants to learn love. <laughs> That's what this is about. Do you like the world uh, you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? I like the good parts. I like the idea of HAL 9000 uh, learning to love. Yeah, so <laughs> the, the first conversation is really funny because it's like, I, do, I'm, I am the best computer in the world, I must understand everything. Why do I not understand love? And Peach is just like, this is too weird. Fuck this, man. <laughs> Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Never mind. Can I send an email? <laughs> That's that's the that's the exchange for this. It's like she the, the computer lets us send emails to Mario. Yeah, I, I, what I also love in these games that Peach seems to get herself in the strangest scenarios. Yeah, they are because in the first one, Peach is stuck in the castle that Bowser has floated into the sky, 
Hmm. And the interlude chapters are her sneaking around her own castle. Using, like, secret passages and stuff. And, uh, you know, learning more things about Bowser's attacks and stuff. And in this one, <laughs> it's this. Yeah, and in the third one, she gets stuck in a dating scenario that she has doesn't want anything to do with. Yeah. Meanwhile... <laughs> yeah, in the Origami King one was super funny because it's so creepy. It's like they 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 actually had some menace to that because she got refolded into an origami paper figurine. Origami Kim is another one I should uh, actually try out instead of seeing only, like, the story about the one Bob. Yeah. I, I... Origami King is probably my favorite out of the whole series. What's up? Oh, no! <laughs> We're going to be ages no matter what. <laughs> I love that he just thinks to it thinks it to himself. <laughs> so yeah, Bowser's interludes are all him being one step behind Mario. Ah. But he did show up at the Glitz Pit. He showed up after a fight to literally do a wrestler thing and, and make an entrance and you have to fight a boss after another tough fight. Which is Bowser. Hmm. So we ended up in the glitz pit sometime between there. He's been busy. All right. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> yeah, take some vitamins. Oh, is this our Coliseum? Can we come back here for, like, higher-level fights? I think you can come back here. I don't know if there are high-level fights, though. I think you have to start from the bottom again. Hmm. Which is kind of a weird decision, but whatever. Anyway, I think that ought to do it for stream today. We got the third star. Next time is going to be Chapter 4, which is... That's a fan yeah, favorite. Uh, yeah, you've been alluding to that for the last couple of streams. Yeah, I'm wondering if they if they did anything with that to alleviate all the backtracking, which is like the biggest problem with that chapter. Other than that, it's got a lot of good jokes in it. Uh, yeah, so we'll see you later, probably tomorrow. Um, I'm going to attempt to take one more day off of work. I think I'll be able to, but I, just because... Man, the mornings are so fucking hard. It's why I end up streaming, because I'm just like, you know, in, yeah, too I mean, much, in too much pain. Yeah, it takes time for those painkillers to take effect, right? So. Yeah, and I, I really don't want to deal with that at work, running around, lifting shit. It's not going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, all right, so we'll see you later, folks. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow if you're not already doing so. See you around. See you next time.